Hi everyone and welcome to my what I eat in a day. So for my breakfast I had my overnight oats. These really do fill you up. Then after I'd been shopping I had this dark mint chocolate grenade bar. Don't worry I don't have one of these like every day. It's just good to have when you're out and about. So the reason why she has to put out a preference on that, like she only has one every once in a while, is because people in her comment section were calling her out on that. They were going, hey, uh, these grenade bars are like really, really calorie dense and you're not really getting much out of them and you seem to be eating a lot of them. And I see this phenomenon quite a bit with people that are not used to changing up their diet very often. They tend to put in a lot of supplements when you really don't need to put in a lot of supplements. You just need to eat regular food and that's... That would be preferable if you're going to get if you can get all of your calories all your protein and everything else from actual food items from actual meals that would be way better and it seems like for becky she's trying to i don't know like find cheat codes or like do it the fastest or easiest way when it's just not going to be like that i really feel like if becky was going to take this for real she should just be trying to make good, wholesome foods instead of trying to, uh, you know, find supplements out there. And don't get me wrong, supplements can be very, very helpful, but it just kind of seems like a lot of people think that supplements are the only way to lose weight. No, you don't need to eat protein bars. No, you don't need to eat overnight oats. What you can actually do is just make good, solid meals that are less calories, that are going to be very, very dense with proteins and other things like that because, uh, that, you know, it's always better to get food because you're eating a lot more, right? If you can maximize the amount of food that you could put in your stomach and you're going to feel lo you're going to feel full full longer and you're probably going to be satiated for longer instead of just eating a random protein bar that's like 350 calories uh and you're only getting 20 grams of protein by the way, which is not a lot because <clears throat> if you look at the Orkios yogurts, right? Uh, what is it, like 100 calories and you're getting 15 to 16 grams of protein, depending on the thing? Yeah, it's like nothing, dude. You could just do that if that was the case. Like if you really were serious about that, you might as well just go for the yogurt because that's going to be way, 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 way better for you. And you're eating way less calories than this 20 gram protein bar, which is like 350 calories. So, you know, that's why people were upset with her. She seems like she wants to take the easy way out, which makes sense because she tried to get the weight loss surgery and she did think that it was going to be the easy way out as well. But anyway, you know, it is it is what Becky does. It's how she operates. It seems like a lot of people nowadays think that there is no more hard work or like, <laughs> you know, there's no consistency anymore. It's like a one and done for a lot of these people. It's not. You're, it's it's a lifestyle choice. These people need to actually buckle down and, and, <laughs> and actually uh, put in the work. And it was really tasty. Then a little bit later on, just whilst I was cooking, I had a Jaffa Cakes. Yeah, I just don't understand. Okay, look, go ahead and eat your candy. But, dude, sometimes I look at Becky and I'm just like, there's something uncanny about her face sometimes, dude. Like, it's just, it just kind of looks like it shouldn't be like this way. I don't know, dude. I don't know why it's like that. It kind of looks like if you ever watched Mission, Mi the early Mission Impossibles. And you know when they have those cuts where there's, like, the actual actor, but then they have to, like, do the, the scene where they take off the face. So there's, like, uh, uh, the actual actor, then there's a cut, and there's, like, Tom Cruise pulling off his face. It looks like that like two or three frames where you see the outline of the fake face being pulled off. Sometimes I see Becky and I'm like, that is what it looks like. It's just so uncanny. And I'm not here to make fun of her. It's just like, I don't know why it looks like that in certain angles. Like other angles, she looks fine. But in other angles, like a lot of angles, you're just looking at her like, oh my God, it might be the filter because she does do a lot of filters and people tend to point out, they always timestamp the videos where they go, oh my God, filter, filter, filter. And I see like when she takes a bite, I'll see like the candy bar disappear for like a second. And that's because the filter is like working OD to try to smooth down, to reshape her face or something like that. So I don't doubt that a lot of the stuff that um, I'm seeing about Becky's face is actually just an illusion. It's not actually something that's that's on her face naturally. It's just the filter working really, really hard to try to try to chisel down the face, which I mean, you could tell she's insecure about it. And I've always said this, like if you're that insecure where you need to prioritize filters and you need to like chisel down your face through the realm of technology instead of like doing the work to try to do it yourself, why don't you just lose the weight, dude? Like what is, why, why are you so... You know, it just do the hard work. I mean, I get it. Hard work is hard work compared to just putting on a filter. But it doesn't work because, like, if you ever go on somebody's podcast, which we've seen her on podcasts before, she doesn't look anything like she does on her own videos, which is very, very concerning. But uh, before anybody asks, star patch. Star patch. It's not a star, though. It's a cloud. So cloud patch for a pimple. I have a pimple inside of my face. I'm breaking out right now. This is my time of the month, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Bar, you know how much I love Jaffa Cake. So yeah, just eating candy bars is awesome. It's great. You know, I love candy bars too, but 
dude, try to stay away from him as much as you can, uh, especially given the fact that Becky is trying to lose weight and she's working out, which is great, but she has this tendency of like working out and then right after working out, she'll eat uh, like a giant portion of food. And I actually think because Becky is on this weight loss kick as it is right now, I think she's lying about a lot of food that she's eating right now because um, she said in a previous video where she said she's having a hard time recording the what I eat in a day videos because she's been trying to lose like more weight. I actually think that that's a lie. I, if I was to put like an actual, if I was a betting man, I would probably go so far. The, the reason why she thinks that it's harder to record these what I eat in a day videos is because before she just didn't care. Like she knew that she could just record whatever and she would just put it out and whatever. But nowadays she knows she's being like super hyper critical, like all the people now that are watching her are really, really looking at all the dietary stuff. People are looking at what I eat in a days and, you know, counting calories and stuff like that. So now she has to be really, really, really sure about what she puts out. So when she does these videos, these eating videos, I think what she's doing is like she's trying to make it seem like she's still eating kind of what she used to be eating, but she's also eating healthier. So it's like kind of equaling it out. I'm going to call bullshit on that. I know that she's probably eating a lot healthier. She is. She's actually making food at home nowadays. She is getting takeaway at least once a day, it seems like. But I think that she's also doing on the other side where she's not recording it. I think she's also putting out a ton. I think she's eating a lot of other foods because uh, the girl is maintaining, you know, but but we'll see in a month. We'll see in a month's time if she's actually had any significant weight. She said herself that she's not counting calories, which is the worst thing you could possibly do because anybody knows this, right? If somebody is trying to get in shape, right? What do you do? You count calories. You you find out how what your what, how many calories you're eating in a day, and then you reduce based off that. It's like that with anything in life, okay? Like if you, if somebody was having financial issues, what do you do? You sit down with them and you go, hey, let's do a budget. Let's find out how much you're making, how much you're spending, right? How many how many how many uh, apps are you using, right? How many subscription services do you need? Do you need this Netflix subscription? Do you need this Disney Plus subscription? Do you need this Amazon Prime sub subscription? Why do you have five phone lines, right? Like, can we cut out two or three of them? Like, no. Like, that's what you do. And when it comes to calorie count, it's the same thing. You sit down with that person and go, do you need to be eating this? Like, do you understand that this is, like, really bad for you? Do you need to be drinking that orange juice? Do you need to be drink Do you need to be eating this Jaffa cake? But it seems like, for Becky, she wants to, to have her cake and eat it too. So she's going to, like, try to change her diet, but she's actually not going to put in any work to actually understand why she's changing the diet or what, why it's even significant in any way. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, a lot of people tend to, if they're, if they, if a lot of people tend to not want to change anything in general, but they think that making little incremental changes like this will do something drastic, but it's not, but it's doing something. So I'll give her that. A win's a win any way you look at it. These bars are amazing. Then for my tea, I made a gorgeous chicken and veg pie. 350, uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. A beautiful veg pie. A lot of people don't realize this, but these veg pies, by the way, her serving sizes on these are insane. Uh, it's great. I would never cook in anything with glass anymore because I had one time where I took a glass out of the oven while I was cooking. I didn't know what was in there. And I took it out and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I forgot, about, I forgot about this glass in the oven. And I took it out and I put it on the table and it, exploded it just like literally was like a claymore mine just exploded right in front of me and i remember i was just holding the two pieces in the you know with the with the pot holder and it was just like oh yeah i forgot like hot on cold glass don't mix and then because i had a cat at the time i had to like find my cat throw it in a in the bathroom for like an hour dude so i can like sweep up because i was such a dumb person i swept up the entire kitchen it took me like an hour and every time i thought i was done there was even more glass to find and i was just looking at myself like i'm why am i dumb like why am i so stupid dude like i should have known better this is not a normal person thing to happen right and now uh in order to remedy that i don't buy glass anymore i guess like i kind of fed into the irresponsibility because the real adult claim there would have been to continue to buy glass but never make that mistake again but i'm just going to completely not do it ever again it's like like paris hilton said uh if you know if somebody asks you to do something just do it so bad that they never ask you to do it again which is outrageously amazing if i'm going to be completely honest with you uh paris hilton actually did say that it was on some kind of reality tv show and those are words to live by um but you know what if it's if you're asking yourself to do it it's not good though. Hi. Yes, that's meant to say 750. Oh, I thought that said 300. Sorry. I made a gorgeous chicken. Is that a seven? That straight up looks like a three. That looks like a three. Okay. And veg pie. Yes, that's Can't meant to say 750 right, k on the front of it. I don't have a problem with this. Uh, I think she probably has no idea how many calories the chicken pot pie is. How could you? 
I, this is why I say like stick to safe foods and really really try to like buckle down on the calories because this is like so ambiguous. Uh, but it looks like the plate's smaller. Well, so. it was honestly the best with mash and broccoli. Then I think she has a little bit of dandruff going on, dude. I don't know how often Becky washes her hair. I don't know. I see a lot of times she just kind of does dry shampoo and just kind of puts it through her hair or whatever. And for me personally, I love taking showers. It's my time of decompression. Like I just come like. I know a lot of people like to go into showers and wash themselves, but for me, I mean, obviously I'm doing that too, but the primary purpose for me in showers is to just embrace the warm, watery goodness across my skin. I'm not beating off in the shower. I know a lot of people think that dudes beat off in the shower. I'm not doing that, but I'm just sitting there and I'm embracing the heat and I'm just kind of thinking about things that probably shouldn't be thought about. Maybe you're thinking about life. Maybe you're thinking about how you're failing in life. Are you thinking about maybe am I brushing my teeth correctly? Maybe you're probably thinking about that issue that you have that you think maybe is an issue, but it's probably not an issue because you think about it too much and it goes away like a week later and then you realize, oh, it was probably nothing anyway. So I'm doing that. I'm doing that in the shower. I don't I don't know how so many people can just not take showers, right? When I was a adolescent, I did have many moments where I was like, I'm not taking a shower. That's like weird, bro. I don't want to do that. I'm like a grown up, bro. I got things to do. But the things to do for me were like beating off and playing Call of Duty. So I had no responsibilities. But now that I do have responsibilities, I find myself more and more wanting to take showers. But I only really take one a day. Um, and I feel like in the summertime, that is the most optimal time to do it since you're literally sweating all the time. So if you, unless you don't, unless you want to be a stench consistently, you should take a shower, Becky. Uh, dandruff is not a good look. And I went to the cinema last night and I got a crunchy milkshake because I've never had one before. If I ever hear somebody say, I got a crunchy milkshake, that shit's expired. That is 100% expired, dude. I remember one time I was talking to my friend and he literally pulled out a yogurt and he started eating it. And I swear he took the first bite and he, I heard, and I was like, what the fuck is that? And he said, it's my yogurt. And I said, why is it crunchy? And he said, I don't know. It's just weird right now, I guess. And then I was like, look at the date. Look at the expiration date on that. And it was like two months old. That thing was literally a brick, okay? It was like fermented milk. And then he threw it away. But he had the bubble gut for the rest of the day. Obviously, you, he indulged in half of it. You would think that after you eat half of this 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 yogurt and you heard the crunchiness of this which is not supposed to happen by the way i don't know why you thought yogurt should be crunchy the same thing for milkshake a milkshake should not be crunchy and by the way it's got milk in it so if it's crunchy i'm going to be very very concerned but it's probably not exactly that particular reason like i'm sure that she didn't drink an expired milkshake unless she did but we'll find out Four. And I couldn't believe how big it is. Yeah, this doesn't look. Oh, ho, ho, calm down, Becky. Calm down. What you mean you couldn't believe how big it was? Hold up now. You're going to have to take me out. You're going to have to take me out first. You're going to have to tell me how pretty I am. You're going to have to tell me how gorgeous and amazing my mustache is. You're going to have to buy me three coach bags easily before you even see anything that's going to be a little bit deplorable. And I got a crunchy milkshake I've never had one before. And I couldn't believe how and I, also, I also love the way she justifies it. You know, I got a crunchy milkshake because I've never had one before. I've never had penis in my mouth. Do you think that I'm going out of my way to find it? No, I'm not because I don't want it in my mouth, right? And you know what? I get it. Uh, for Becky, she has to find now excuses to eat whatever she wants because people will literally call her out on it. I think she's actually starting to read comments, so she needs to find justifications. But Becky, this is not a good justification, okay? There's a lot of things that you can say for why you wanted this milkshake, and none of them should have been, I've never had it before, so this is why I got it. Why does that matter? Uh, that should not matter at all. It should have just been... I wanted a milkshake, and you know what? I know a lot of people are going to hate on that, but guess what? I don't care. I'm going to drink this milkshake. I've been doing good on my diet. I've been working out. That should have been what she said instead of trying to forgive herself for her bad activity. Um, and she didn't even point out that she had a big-ass bag of M&Ms. That's a big bag, by the way. That's, a, that's not one of those small ones or the mini size ones or even the long tube ones. No, that's a big-ass bag of M&Ms. It is now, honestly. I left, like more than half of this i doubt it and the fact that she has to keep preferencing this like why are you doing that you're just making it harder and harder for us to believe that you're like now no, the moment you say that you do realize that we're now thinking you drank the whole thing right you do understand that right that's like somebody getting called out for murder and they're going you murdered five people and you're like i murdered four i murdered i murdered four people okay and i couldn't ki morally i could not kill that fifth person i just couldn't do it uh, it was just impossible for me to do. Like, I understand what you're saying, but now I think you did kill that fifth person, if that makes any sense. And I also got some M&M Krispies in there, but I watched Trapped and it was really good.
So that was my... In the movie theater. Dude, she looks so weird sometimes. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what it is over there in the UK. Like, you guys have great people. Don't get me wrong. I love Gordon Ramsay. I love you, Jackman. I love all these people, right? But can we just take a moment, okay? What is up with your... What's up with the facial fillers? What's up with, what's up with all these people doing weird stuff to their face? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay, look. It was a joke. I know you, Jackman, is from Australia. Australia. I get it, dude. That was a joke. I, I wonder how many people are in the comment section like, you fucking asshole. You thought you, Jackman, was from Australia? How fucking dare you? <laughs> dude, I knew he wasn't from Australia, dude. That'd be like me thinking that Tom Holland was actually from the UK. <laughs> Come on, dude. Hi, oh, what are you in a day, guys? Hi, everyone. Yeah, by the way, the majority... The majority of what Becky just ate in that day right there was literally just snack foods, okay? I know that a lot of people like supplements, and I know a lot of people like protein bars, and I know a lot of people like overnight oats. Most of that shit was not food, okay? Stop and make food. I get it. Supplements are great, but there's a reason why they call it supplements, because it's not supposed to be the main aspect of your day. If you are missing food, okay, and you know you need that extra, or maybe you... You know, you got everything that you needed in that day, but you just want that little extra kick of protein or something like that? Fine. Go ahead. Have that extra shit on the side. But it shouldn't be the main thing you're eating throughout the day. So, Becky is very ignorant, and it seems like uh, she's going down the wrong path. Welcome to my wife. By the way, this is a lot of food, and I know those bananas and apples are never being touched. Good day. These look like really bad cookies. I know that these are not cookies, right? I get it. These are blood sausages, which, by the way, sound diabolical. But uh, these look gross, by the way. Uh, they look really, really burnt. And you have, like, three different sets of sausages. Why do you need more? I am so, so sorry. I'm I feel like people in the UK need to wake up to the fact that their food all looks like garbage. Why do you guys have really bad food perpetually? And why is fish and chips, like, a normal part of your diet, dude? Is it just a cultural thing? Is that what it is? I'm so bad at uploading my what I eat in a days. It's because I do separate videos as well. So I always wait until I add them in at the end of the day. Anyway, this was from last Sunday. Last Sunday, dude. So, like, again, I think the reason why she's having a hard time with the uploads of the What I Eat In A Day videos is because now she has to really think about, is this too much? Is this too little? Is this actually reflective of a person that weighs 400 pounds? Like, is this accurate? And most of the time, it's not. It's just not accurate for a lot of Becky. Dude. Becky's got to calm down with these fillers, okay? The, sorry, not fillers. Uh, filters. These filters be doing way too much work, Becky. Your skin is not that smooth. Where are the pores? You have no pores at all. And you know what? I'm sick of it, too, because Becky will defend it. And she'll go, no, I'm not using filters. Why are you dying on that hill? It would be much better if you were like, yeah, I use filters. So what? It is what it is. Just come out. Just represent, okay? Say it with your chest. That's all I want, to, that's all I want you to do. Just own it. But... She'll never own it. And I spit all over my monitor. I hope you feel better about yourself, Becky, for making my high, making my blood pressure raise up. I started off the day with a cooked breakfast. So I had sausages, bacon. Crazy as hell to say I started off the day with a cooked breakfast. I also don't like the way Becky eats. She looks like an old man eating with no teeth. You can egg, toast, tomatoes, beans. A lot of people were like, yeah. But at least she eats it with her mouth closed for the most part. Uh, these small ass packets of Ritz crackers, by the way, are irrelevant. I don't know why so many people in the UK, this must be an American thing, but here in America, if you look through the grocery aisles or like you go to the checkouts on groceries, you'll see that people are buying bulk orders of stuff because we're trying to save money and we know we're gonna eat this for the rest of the month. So if you go to somebody's cart and you're like, bro, do you really need this 20 pound of ground beef? And that guy's gonna look at you like, yeah, bro, I eat ground beef all the time. I have three children and they all love this shit. Or like the giant, like double quadruple family size bags of cereal. Yeah, we're going to be eating this for the rest of the month. But over there in the UK, you'll buy those really, really small bags or like you'll get really, really small portion sizes of stuff. And I always look at that and I go, why? Uh, isn't that like literally more expensive in the long run? Don't you guys like literally go back to that, the Greg's or wherever you get your groceries more than once a, a month? So obviously you guys are going back, but... Anyway, like when I saw Becky with the four pack of eggs, I was literally like about to literally, I was getting tr so triggered because who is buying four eggs? Are you really only eating like one egg a day? Even that is like four days worth of eggs. I eat three, two to three eggs every single day consistently. And by the end of the week, I'm, I'm almost done. Like I'm literally almost done with a dozen and a half of eggs. So I get two or three cartons of a dozen and a half all the time for the rest of the month because eggs are so versatile and they're so incredibly good for you. But for some reason, people in the UK will just buy a four pack and be like, oh my God, this is going to do it. I'm literally so happy. 
I've got a full pack of eggs, but it's okay because I'm going to supplement my meal with a Mackey's and I'm going to go and get an egg McMuffin. That's what it is, basically, right? That's what you guys are doing over there. Ash browns were missing. Then later that day, I... Dude, there's just something about her sometimes, dude. I don't know, man. I'm just... Sometimes I look at her, dude. She got a little bit of Schwarzenegger going on, you know? A little bit of Arnold. Uh, dude, is that a little bit of peach fuzz I'm seeing down here? What is this right here? What is that right there? Is that where the filter stops? I had some of my favorite Ritz crackers. Now, I love these. I love them. Could just eat them and eat them and eat them. Then for tea, I had a chicken korma because I don't really do roast on a Sunday. Don't get me wrong. I will have the occasional one. I just don't like the way she qualifies stuff where she says like, oh, yes, the reason why we're doing this today is because I don't really do it. I don't really do it. So because I don't really do it, we're going to do it. Really, that's that's terrible. That's a really bad way of looking at literally doing anything at all. Just because you don't do it. There's a reason why people don't rob banks because they just don't do it. And you know, can imagine somebody going outside the store like, oh, I just, you know, I really don't rob banks, but since it's like, I don't really do it, I might as well just do it right now. What are you talking about now? But I much prefer a curry or something else. So I had this with some poppadoms, a naan bread, and some rice. Then later that night, I was lying in bed, and I had some of these M&M minis. Makes sense. It feels like you get so much. Makes sense, dude. Makes sense. A dollar thirty-five for these? I mean, it makes sense, dude. What can you do? Becky is going to eat, and uh, she has very poor self-control because guess what? A lot of this food is just going to be in her house, and I say this all the time. If you have a problem with eating or you have a problem with overconsumption of food and the food's in your house, you're just setting yourself up for failure, dude. You're literally like an addict, and you're like, I'm going to break this crack addiction, but guess what? You go in your kitchen, there's like five crackheads all offering you crack and throwing it at your head. That's the same thing of not wanting to eat candy and then going out to your kitchen just seeing bars and bars and bars of candy. And it sucks because Becky lives with her family. And I'm sure that her family likes candy as well. So when she goes out to that kitchen, she sees all that candy. It's like literally like a hungry <coughs> African child looking at that steak you know what i'm talking well maybe that's not exactly true because at least a hungry african child is like you know hungry and hasn't eaten so i guess that's maybe not a bad analogy or it's probably like a gay man trying to beat his infatuation with the with the male genitalia and then he like comes into his kitchen it's like a ceiling fan of black guys hanging from the ceiling fan like duct taped up and there's just bbc's hanging down just spinning perpetually and you just can't stop yourself your mouth is watering looking at them just looking up and just going oh i wonder how many i could fit in my mouth or how many can slip like slap me on the side of my mouth it's probably like that much more in the packet <laughs> but honestly i love these i remember love when i went them. to new york and this is all they had in all the shops it was yeah, amazing filter. that filter is going hard and by the way if you go to new york and you're and you're talking about some when i went to new york i had these not the time like if somebody was like dude tell me about some great stuff that happened in new york and i'm expecting people to go oh you know i got stabbed i got robbed they stole the hubcaps off my car uh i went to go see the statue of liberty got stabbed not that you you found some m&ms and then you ate some mini m&ms i don't you know becky has some weird experiences right i don't know like to, for me it would be other things but for becky it's uh, food and that was everything, but I am sorry it was a late upload. Why does she even do this? Like, what does it matter, dude? Damn, her head is really big, bro. I'm sorry. Um, she real deal got that Jimmy Neutron shit. Dude, this was the last one sitting on my drafts. But yeah, that was my... It's not cute. Like, I don't know, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like that, <laughs> you know that, like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so cute. I don't think Becky is very cute. I just don't. I don't know why she has to chew. And then, like, she doesn't do that with any other food. Like, she'll take a giant bite of something and it's just like... <laughs> Yeah, I just fucking ate that shit. What's up? But when she eats candy or something small, she like always does this like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. What are you talking about? Shut up. You're not cute. Not <laughs> eating a day from last Sunday, guys. Love you all. On the Lord's day, you did that too? You disrespected your mouth on the Lord's day? Right, okay then. We're here. So um, I'm sorry that cut out then, guys. My intro didn't film properly, so I've just popped this clip in of my tea tonight. Everything, And man. then the next clips will be me dishing it out. So I've got my pit out, which I'm just going to put on like this. And then we've got a skewer each, which I'm going to pop on okay. there. One's good, right? Then the salad. So hopefully you can see. She does got a salad. I, I think a lot of people's definitions of salads include lettuce, and there's no lettuce in this. But I am happy that she's eating some vegetables because vegetables are usually very, very low in calories because most of vegetables are just water anyway, water and fiber. So that's always good, especially if you want to poop more. Um, a lot of people use cheat codes to poop, though, which is like coffee or caffeine. This is it. It's kind of just 
just a mixture one tonight, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really mind if it's, like, cut up like this. I don't really personally like that because it's really hard to... I guess you're going to have to eat this with a spoon, but even with a spoon, it's going to, like, fall off or whatever. Especially knowing how much high blood pressure Becky probably has, like, at the weight that she is. Like, her hand's going to be shaking like crazy with some Michael J. Fox shit. So, I don't mind it. It's It's... Either way, it's good that she's eating vegetables, so I won't hate on it. I wonder how much uh, s topping she has on this. Like, a lot of people do use uh, salad dressings or other things like that, and those tend to increase the calorie count by a lot. So I wonder if she's using those, and if she is, how much? I was going to do chicken shawarma, but then I fancied, um, like, the flavor, like, Greek flavors, because I love anything. What is Greek flavor? There's the salad. Okay. Then I'm gonna put my rice on. So I'm just needing to. She's like to out of breath from dishing this out, dude. I saw this before with Airsoft Fatty way back in the day. He's on a health kick now, which is really great, by the way. Went up for Airsoft Fatty. But I saw a lot of people back in the day, including Airsoft Fatty, that would be dishing out food or stirring food and they'd be out of breath because the simple act of standing up is already incredibly taxing for these people, not for me or anybody else, right? But for these people, it's incredibly taxing. And then to also move other parts of your body while that's happening as well. Yeah, it's very taxing. It's a bread. It's concerning too, though. Put some of this. This is just plain white rice that was cooked in some chicken stock. It's very dry. Everything here is very, very dry, bro. Uh, I, I mean, I guess maybe the salad's not too dry because it, how could it be? But everything here is dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. Yep, it's a lot of rice. I hope she doesn't come back for seconds. Rice will literally destroy your diet in terms of calories. Rice is really good, though. Very, very good in general. White rice, too. But uh, I, I just hope that she's not, like, destroying it, coming back for second, thirds. And this is why I have a problem with, like, the what I eat in the days. Like, there's so much food here. And sure, this is, like, for other people. I never see anybody else eating the food. Or, like, whenever she dishes it out, there's never, never anybody in the room. Maybe they're just waiting for her. But I often see her coming back for seconds. And she does have videos where she goes, this is... Yes, guys, this is for other people. And then you go back and then you just see her eating more of it. And you're like, dude, how many, like, is anybody eating this, dude? Like, is it all you? There we go. And then I have, I'm going to have to pop that more around so I can pop my chicken wings on. Chicken wings? Some barbecue chicken wings. Okay. I okay, it's kind of getting a little bit big. Chicken wings. There's a lot of stuff on the plate. And, like, one of the problem with one of the problems with Becky is that I don't think she understands how much you're supposed to have on... It's, it's, it's really a problem of, like, society today. It's, like, as we've gotten more and more developed as a society, we've become more and more accustomed to having multiple large amounts of things on the plate. And somehow that is, like, evident of how great the food is. And that's not That's not true. You can have great meals with just one or two things on the plate or even three things, you know, carbs, fat, protein, you know, as long as you're doing that. But it seems like Becky has this like wrong idea of the plate just needs to be filled up with massive amounts of shit. Damn. Oh, looks nice and tasty. And then we've got the, I always say it wrong, tzatziki sauce. At least it's not going to be dry. Uh, ooh, and that's kind of thick. Chicken skewer, some over here. Ooh. Just placing dollops everywhere, to be honest. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Somebody let me know how many calories this. What'd she say? Tahiki sauce is? Somebody let me know. Making sure I save some for everybody else. But there we go. Let me show you close up. She took half of it and she was like, I gotta make sure that everybody else has some. Let's talk in and see. G'day. Hi, just want to mm. come over and say hi. It's mm. so good. Oh my god. Yeah, keep in mind, she didn't go like this when she ate it. I don't know why she does it on certain foods, but not on that. Mm. Mm. Really good. Mm. Chicken wings? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why do you do this fucking face? Like, why do you close your eyes when you eat shit? Like, I just don't understand it. Like, she's bracing for impact or something. Like, every time she chews, like, she has to make that cringe face because she feels so uncomfortable or, like, she has pain in her mouth or something. Good job. I'm not sure I should take it. Oh, I'm but let me know in the comments what you've all got, and I hope you all enjoy it. Love you all. Love you. I need to find this Nutella ice cream that's apparently in Morrison's. Makes sense, dude. Becky on the hunt for the for the ice cream, dude. Cue the music that Becky, she's on the run. Becky, move, whatever the fucking song is. It makes sense to me, dude. Uh, yeah, Becky hunting for some Nutella ice cream. Let's see how far it goes, dude. I mean, most people will be hunting for career opportunities. Love, Becky, Nutella ice cream.
Hi everyone! <laughs> right, let's see if it is in here. Sorry guys, I don't also know where I'm filming from. Can you imagine like going on a journey with your friend or like, who is this Portia? And going like, okay Portia, this is going to be make or break. We are literally looking for Nutella ice cream. If we, if we are going to multiple all over, all over the UK to get this Nutella ice cream. If it's not here, I'm going to be really sad. And we're probably going to have to go to like multiple different fast food or supermarkets to get this. And that person just goes, this makes sense. Yeah, Becky, we're going to do that. I like that, but <laughs> we're going to see. <laughs> Nutella ice cream. So we're at this bit. Come on. Ah. Uh... Sad as hell. <gasps> I see it. Yeah, yeah, why are you so happy about it, dude? It's just ice cream. How good is Nutella ice cream, dude? I see it. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh, guys. It, I don't, I don't even know how much it is. No, that's a thing. Does it matter? It doesn't matter how much it costs, dude. We're going to buy it regardless, right? It literally doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, Paige, feel how light it is? That's ridiculous. When it's going straight in my basket. <laughs> and then right in your mouth, huh? Right in your mouth, right after the basket. Right, we have it. I am actually buzzing. There was only two left as well. <laughs> so I will do a taste test on it as well. But on this video, actually, I'll do a taste test. Okay, guys, so I'm home now. Let's give it a... I wonder who's like, who even cares about Becky doing taste tests at all? Like, who's watching Becky to do taste tests? She doesn't really contribute anything. She just says it's good or it's banging. I don't think she actually says banging, but oh my God, guys, it's so good. What even is that? That's not even like a... a that's not actually a descriptive term. Like, if somebody says it's good, that can, that's equally somebody saying it's bad. Can you go into why it's good, why it's bad? Otherwise, it's like useless. Try... Well, guys, I'm a little bit disappointed. Again, it filmed, but didn't save. Um, so hopefully this- Dude, you're just gonna eat it straight out the, the fucking- You're gonna eat it straight out the tub like that? You don't even gotta dish it out, bro? That's how you know this is some big back shit, bro. She literally just eating that shit straight out the jar. That's crazy as hell, bro. Does now, one minute. Okay, that bit has. Right. Anyway, I've already tasted it, but it cracks, watch. Is ready for the crack? It was better before, but yeah, let's have another taste just for you lot. It's so good. You gonna eat mm. that whole thing? Said before, it is definitely a 10 out of 10. Everything is a 10 out of 10 to Becky, bro. I, I, how many times have we heard her say it's a 10 out of 10 on different foods? and di Just because it has chocolate in it, bro, I swear. That's literally all it is. That's all it takes for Becky to say it's a 10 out of 10. I don't care. I, I just don't care, dude. I mean, we literally just saw a obese woman hunting for chocolate ice cream and then come back and tell you it's a 10 out of 10. What are you expecting, dude? Was, yeah, obviously, bro. She's going to body slam that entire thing. I don't actually know how much I paid for it, but... Or do, you, do you know how many calories it is? Or do you, like, do you not care about that at all? Like, why does it... You got to be on a... You got to be in a different classification of money to be like, I don't even know how much money this was, but, like, I bought it anyway, dude. I just literally swiped the car and I just walked out. Um, I wouldn't pay more than £5.50, though. Mm. Hi, everyone. I wonder how much she ate of that. Dude, I, I'm sorry, dude. It's always so jarring to see that opening. Like, it just, it's just her face is so wide sometimes. Welcome to my what I eat in a day. So for my breakfast... This is diabolical, dude. Like, you're not even going to get a... Like, the egg is literally not something you can eat on every bite. Why couldn't you just, like, mash up the egg, dude, and just... Okay, whatever, dude. First, I... And I also really hate it when people, like, spew the more ketchup or whatever this is, hot sauce, on the outside of the sandwich than the actual sandwich itself. What is the point? Why are you doing that, dude? Why do you put it on the side? It doesn't look better. It just looks stupider. I had two boiled eggs on some toast with some ketchup. Oh, she cuts the toast yes, up. Yes, it might sound nice. like a random mix, but it's honestly amazing. I also add some everything bagels. Where are your pores? Can we, why is this always a thing for Becky, dude? Seasoning on top and it tastes so good. I then had one of these Novo protein bars. Yeah. These are low in sugar, which is good. It doesn't really matter. I don't care if it's low in sugar. I just care about the calories. Literally, it shouldn't matter for somebody of her size, but whatever. Again, where are the pores? Uh, uh, good, healthy alternative, to be honest. Sure, you're so, you're so good. You're so good, Becky. Somebody called her out on those grenade bars, so she got to switch it up. So <laughs> she probably body slammed the, the remainder of those grenade bars 100%. And now she's moved up to a better one. Uh, yeah, there are differences in protein bars.
Also had one of my favourite Robinson's drinks. I love these ones. Then for tea, I made Greek-inspired chicken skewers, a nice chopped salad, some pita bread, some chicken wings, some rice, and a tzatziki dip. I love these. My bad. That... My bad. The, the dip did not sound like dip. Add some chicken wings, some rice, and a tzatziki dip. Yeah, I, I, you, like, if you didn't hear that P at the end of it, you would have been like, what? What did you say? I love these types of teas. It was honestly so tasty. Then I had a squares bar, and I also had a couple of bourbon biscuits in yeah. the evening with a nice cup of tea. Yeah. I love these squares. Yeah, the Rice Krispies are going to destroy your diet, bro. Them things is really calorie dense, bro. Squares bars and bourbon biscuits are my fave, as you all know. Here I am Man, eating. Laying it. down on that shit is kind of crazy, too, bro. So you had two of those? It's lying down. Do not advise. But anyway, hope you all had a good day, and love you all. Bye. Damn, okay. Making some kind of chocolate concoction in a slow cooker, I see. I mean, hey, it's all right. I have a slow cooker too. I know a lot of people think that moms are the only ones that can have slow cookers. No, slow cookers are really, really efficient and they're very, very beneficial, especially if you want to cook something of good taste. Don't feel like you're gay for having a slow cooker. I feel like they're doing that in the most inefficient way possible. Chocolate orange flavored spread. Okay, that sounds diabolical. Somebody can let me know if this tastes good. Why do you have to do everything wrong, dude? That splash, have it close. Have it close to the, to the, to the, to the water. Dude, yeah, like literally have it close. You're, you guys are literally making a mess. Can't even do shit right, dude. Is this on? Oh, it is on. Ooh, wait, why wouldn't you just put it on the stove then? Okay, again, in the most unefficient way possible. Did you not have like a bowl or something that you could have done that in? Okay, whatever, dude. Ch oh, this is just chocolate. Sorry, this is hot chocolate. That's okay. Hot chocolate, guys, I guess. The most high dense, high chocolate calorie, fucking dense chocolate. Whatever, dude. whatever, man. God damn, the whipped cream. Damn, that's that's a lot. More chocolate? Yeah, I guess. Marshmallows. Yeah, can't have it without the marshmallows. More marshmallows. Yes, Becky, you really killed it. This is so great. How many calories is this, you think? Like five, six, seven hundred calories, dude? I wouldn't even be surprised. I literally wouldn't even be surprised. It's probably a lot of calories, bro. And I see the residue from all the splashing from earlier. Or is this just like a part of your counter? I don't know. It's sad. It's it's really sad. If you're wondering, is that Becky Jones with her legs out? Then you are absolutely correct. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So today I did a cardio workout. I found one that was for beginners. Still agree with Joe one because I... I don't know what she means by like a beginner cardio workout. If I'm going to be honest with you, dude, it's fine that she's doing these particular workouts. Uh, I don't care. Like anything is better than nothing, I suppose. I would be... It'd be more appropriate if Becky just chose to walk like two or three miles a day and they just did that consistently and then built up a habit. Um, rather than doing these like one workouts every week, that's what she said she does. She does these workouts once a week, which is... Better than nothing, but if you're gonna do that workout and then make like hot chocolate the way you just did and burn, I don't know, like three, four hundred calories on these workouts, which I don't even think that it's anywhere close to that, and then drink a hot chocolate that's like 500 calories, which is literally just a drink, I, it's you're gonna literally not want to work out anymore because it's such a detriment to your to your brain to see that you're literally doing negative work, like you're doing all of this for nothing because you're drinking away or eating away all the work that you just did by you know doing this workout so it's like it's so dumb or whatever dude by the way a lot of people were calling her out it just kind of goes to show you like sometimes when you're on social media you think you know something and you say it with confidence and the people in the comment section are like what the fuck are you talking about bro that's literally the stupidest shit i've ever heard in my life do you even know what you're talking about because last week uh when she was doing her workout videos she said she wants to sweat she says she likes the sweat and whatever and people were like wait why what do you why do you want to wear sweatpants and hoodies in like extra clothes on your body for what reason just wear regular clothes and then work it like that you like you have less to move which makes sense yeah totally make it make sense and i guess she listened to that because in the video she was like 
guys, I just want to wear, like, I just want to wear a sweatshirt and sweatpants and, like, I just want to sweat. And this is like, why? What are you talking about, dude? I found one that was for beginners. Still agree with Jo one because I absolutely love her. And I also tried out my new wrist weights. And yeah. I, I have no idea why she has to get wrist weights, dude. Like, she's Goku training in the hyperbolic time chamber. Or, like, she's going up there with Kami or some shit like that. About to train with Kami. Why do you need weighted anything, Becky? You are already a weighted person. You don't need the extra weight on your arms. Trust me, you're good. And by the way, if the entire point of this exercise is not to weight train, why do you need them? It makes no sense. But Becky is... She must have saw it somewhere. I don't know, dude. There's a bunch of people on TikTok that literally do stupid shit a lot and it would make sense to me that the reason why she did this is because she probably saw somebody saying something and she did it because of that which by the way uh, I just want to point out I think I'm seeing some filter action it looks like she's, like she's super blurred uh do you guys see it like it's it looks like she's like super blurred all up and around here dude is that the filter like working OD right now somebody let me know do you guys see it it's like really blurred here I don't know but again um, weighted, weighted, whatever, like, whatever she wants to do here is bullshit. Don't do that, Becky. It's fucking dumb as fuck. Excuse the outfit. I really wanted to wear shorts today. Just something flowy. But I definitely need to tan my legs. <laughs> anyway, this cardio workout, like I said, is for beginners. And I found it a lot more easier to keep up with. Although, after this leg one, I needed a drink. <laughs> But what's most important is every time I have a drink, I just keep moving, move my legs. Just so I don't think, right, that's my workout done. But the wrist weights, once I took them off at the end, I realised actually how much they work. And I loved all your suggestions of what to do. Just do cardio. Literally just walk. Like, that's the best thing. Like, don't you live right next to a beach or whatever? Just walk to the beach and back. And if you need a reward, just get a, like a black coffee while you're on the beach or something. Do not push myself too much with it. Looks like I'm wearing a skirt there. <laughs> this one made me laugh, this move. But it's good to just have fun with it. I had my own little freestyle. I think that filter is working OD. There's like a consistent... Dude, that's a filter, bro. Look at this. Look at this, bro. You're literally seeing like the sides of her leg just being thinned out because of this filter. You guys see this shit? That's crazy, bro. I don't know, Where man. As you can see. And then I ended up finishing off with a little bit of a dance workout. Just did about why do you need this much filter action bro it's so cringe man it's, it's why do you need this much like you're a real person becky it's okay that you're fat it's i mean it's not okay but it's okay that you are fat like it's something that's happened to you just accept it the fact that you have these filters on is actually crazy five minutes of one but these honestly just keep me going I love doing them, and that's. Does the she most think that important. we just don't notice? Like she, she's always consistent on the fact that she's like, "No, guys, I don't wear, I don't have a filter, I don't do that." And then I always see it like a big scenarios where she does have the filters on, and I'm just thinking like, Becky, we can all see it. Like we all see what you're doing, dude. How the fuck did you rewatch this video and not notice that there's like straight up blurring around every single part of your body consistently? And it's very jarring down here because you can see the, you can see the perfect, the texture of the rug, right? It's harder to see on like smooth textures because on smooth textures, you can't, it's not going to smooth out smooth textures. It's already smoothed out, but on the floor, you can easily see it because the texture of the rug is being smoothed out actively. So like the rug is getting the, the filter too. Thing I feel. So I think I did around 33 minutes or 30 minutes, something like that anyway. And the wrist weights are definitely here to stay. I actually found a elasticated one, so I think they will fit around my ankles as well for next time. But I hope you all enjoyed that. Love you all. Um, She did not burn anywhere near 360 calories. I doubt it. If she did, that's great. But it almost doesn't matter, like I said, because... She's just going to eat it away, dude. And all that calories that she just burnt mean nothing. So, you know, but at least she's working out, I guess. Better for her. Better to move than not to move. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. If for the mash. mash. Hi. Put your hands up in the air because you know you don't care. And you, I don't know. Everyone, I was going to say something about penis. my tea together. Anyway, here is my tea. So I've got three sausages, some mash, broccoli, and then a big Yorkshire pudding. Looks gross. I put some gravy on, even though gravy... Eh, it looks okay. I would eat it. I would eat it. Is it my but then again, I would eat a lot of stuff. So it's like, I don't know, man. It's not even really a... I would eat... 
Jeff Bezos' ass for a right amount of money. So, like, I don't know, man. What am I talking about? I dished it all out. It was recording like this now. She's having a lot of recording issues, dude. I don't know what's up with her phone or TikTok or whatever, dude. It might be because the filters are working OD. And hold up. Am I seeing some filter action right here? It looks like her hair is coming off right here, but it's being filtered out. You guys see that? Yo, we are on a different date. This Today, we're really seeing it, dude. I'm on that Bruce Wayne shit right now, dude. Look at that. That's filtered action. It just hasn't saved. Yeah, that is. Dude, hold on. up. That was straight up filter action. Then, like this now. Look at, look at, look at, look at how it like disappears and comes back. And it just hasn't saved. I just don't know what's going on with it. Whether it's a glitch. I don't know, but you know me with mash anyway. Your phone is literally like the CPU for your phone is probably like burning the fuck up because you have like five or six filters all working simultaneous. That's probably the main reason why this shit's not working. Hmm. Shut the fuck up. Dude. I'm, I'm just so done with Becky saying, I'm so done with Becky saying, mmm, mmm. I don't care. I never will care. I, the food doesn't matter, Becky. You don't give a fuck. Stop acting like this shit has value to you. You're literally just eating it just to eat it. Stop. Stop lying. Just stop lying, dude. Stop it. Stop triggering me, dude. Mm -mm -mm. But I was asking you all what you've all got for tea and whether you enjoy... Like she's she's gonna trigger me, dude. But... It doesn't matter. Why she do these stupid ass fucking faces when she eats, dude? Just. Mm -mm -mm. But I hope you're all having a great Wednesday. Let me know what you've done today. And I love you all. Love you too, Becky. I love her too. I do. Mm. That mashed potatoes evaporated in her mouth. Babe. Um, bye guys. Have a Hi everyone. So today I went to Maggie Fu for the first time in Liverpool to celebrate Paige's amazing GCSE results. Anyway, looking at the menu, I was like, I do not know what to have because everything looked so good. Everything just looked so tasty. Anyway, I ended up getting the katsu chicken curry. We got some prawn crackers, some chicken satay sticks. Just putting yourself in position to eat high calorie foods, bro. It's tough, man, because Becky already has an issue with that. So, like, of course she's going to... I see a lot of people having this problem where they're out with friends and they're like, oh, let's go to a restaurant. Let's have a let's have a restaurant day. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that hand motion, dude. A lot of people have told me that I'm a zest fest and, like, I put on the elaboration or, like, I, people think that I'm gay because of, I'm not a zest fest, dude. I don't know what the fuck I tell you, dude. It's fine, by the way, to be a dude and embrace a little bit of femininity or whatever. You're not gay because you have hand movements or you do this. All right? I don't even know what this is, but I saw somebody doing this earlier today. And I don't know what this is. Somebody help me out. What does this mean? What is that? Somebody help me out. But anyway... Um, definitely not a zest fest, but I know a lot of people that are in positions like this when they have to go out to, food, uh, go out to eat with people, um, and they don't want to eat the, the food because it's like really high in calories and you want to stay within your calorie deficit, but it's also like the social pressure of being in a scenario where you're going to be that one person that doesn't order any food, orders the water, and then reaches in your bag and pulls out Tupperware, pops open the Tupperware, and then you eat your meal that you made for yourself. It's weird. People are going to judge you for it, but guess what? You're doing it for yourself. Be selfish. Yes, you look weird. It's fine to be weird, bro. I like your weird. I think it's great that you have the consistency to whip out that Tupperware that you probably got from a Chinese food restaurant two years ago, but they gave you that good Tupperware. You're going to fucking utilize that shit. I'm sorry they gave it to me. I'm sorry that I'm taking advantage of great Tupperware, but you're going to do that. And you may seem weird, like I said, but all overall, it's okay because you're doing it for yourself, and that's great. Just for the side as well, honestly, this food was amazing. And thank you so much to everyone that came over and had a picture. I absolutely loved meeting you all in there today. But this was definitely the place to be. Really enjoyed it. Filter I also got OD, Coke bro. as well. Also, a big well done to anyone who got their GCSE results today. Please do not be disheartened if you didn't get the results that you were hoping for. Because at the end of the day... What is GCSE? I'm guessing it's like the equivalent of the uh, SAT, right? Is that what it is? I them numbers on that. And the Coca-Cola too. I mean, Becky's just going to put herself in scenarios where she's going to be eating high calorie. Dude, it is what it is. Um, I'm happy that she's moving more. I'm happy that she has opportunities to move more. That's always great. But regardless of that, guys, we're going to end the video here. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in filter.
because we've seen so many filters today in this video I don't know why Becky does that shit. It's like, we well, can obviously see it. it's very obvious. in a lot of times, uh, it's a good filter. I'll give her that. Like it, you don't really notice it very often, but when you notice it, it's very, very jarring. But anyway, you're an amazing person. Thank you so much for uh, watching today's video. I love that you took your time out of your day to watch this video. You're so amazing. You're so fantastic. You're so beautiful. Everything about you is the embodiment of divinity and amazingness and awesomeness simultaneously your hair also looks really good it's moisturized it's unflaky it's not crustated and your bowel movements have been great that's awesome i'm so happy that you're able to poop properly through the process of eating fiber and drinking caffeine thank you so much you're a beautiful person enjoy that water you're drinking right now i know i, I see you drinking it that's really great that's awesome you're so amazing but anyway guys social medias will be linked down below enjoy the rest of your day guys 